Hi, I'm Michael LaRoche, head chef and butcher of Seattle, Washington's Bill the Butchers, here to talk today about pork and cooking it with the sous vide supreme. The cut I have in front of me here is actually the center portion of the entire pig. So if we had the rest of the pig here, you would see the shoulder, which is where you get your Boston butt for your pulled pork. You would see the head. Head cheese is always great. You would see on this side, you would see the leg, your hams, your ham roast, your knuckle roast, all those beautiful, beautiful things that you can make into pork chops, cutlets, all that type of stuff. But today we're specifically going to be looking at two cuts, the tenderloin and the pork chop. Those both come from the center piece here. And then up here you'll also find that this is where that magical cut, bacon, comes from, uh, aka pork belly. Now the tenderloin, as you can see, nestled, before I removed it, kind of right up here on the inside. So this where I'm slapping back here, you can kind of see it. That would be the top of the pig. Like if you wanted to walk through the farm and give it a slap on the back, you know, that would be the top. So this muscle doesn't do a lot of work on the inside. Now, how that relates to is it doesn't build up connective tissue that are really dense and heavy. So it remains tender hence tenderloin. And the same position on the beef, the same position on the lamb for where you get that tenderloin. Now, since this is the least work in muscle, it stays that tender, but sous vide still, still controls that cooking so perfectly. Now, one of the things that we'll do is we'll clean this up and we will get to looking at it, but when you can actually hold that temperature at 135 and slow cook that for about four hours, all the connective tissue that's in there is going to dissolve nicely without season up the proteins that are inside the meat so that when you get it cooked through it'll be at that perfect mid-rare that you want. So I've just cleaned up the tenderloin that I removed from the center portion and just take a look at that. This is the beautiful cut of meat that comes up there, the most expensive piece. Now, like I told you, very tender, very inactive muscle. Traditional cooking, you can seize those proteins up right away and you can lose it. You can lose it, but if you cook it right in a normal cooking way, the flavors don't get enough time to develop before you run the risk of overcooking it. That's where cooking it in the sous vide allows those flavors to sit there and develop without even getting to that point where you're like, ah, damn it, I messed it up. So what I've done today is rub this down with my signature rub, backpacked it with a knob of butter, just a hint of salt to add up a little bit more flavor, and then put it in the sous vide supreme at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for four hours. This really lets the flavors develop and the tenderness shine and come out perfectly. And then we'll accompany it with a dish of noodles made by carrots and zucchini to show off that spring quality that we got today in Seattle. And so here we have the sous vide supreme cooked pork tenderloin and you can take a look at that pork. It is perfect. You nailed it. You use the machine, you will nail it at 135, four hours. Look at that, look at that pink. It is so beautiful. And we, what we did after that was with a cast iron pan, everybody should have one. Your grandma probably gave one away a while ago. You need that. Just added that sear so you can get the caramelization. And we have some buttered German new potatoes and the noodles of carrot and zucchini. Give this a go at home. You're going to love it. You're going to find that you can't go back to pork cooked any other way. Enjoy.